will receive the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon you, and you will be my witnesses, saying to the ends of the earth. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <clears throat> have mercy on us, O Lord. Although we have sinned against you, show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with for the person say, excuse me, arguments about the kingdom of God, the word of the Lord. <clears throat> Responsorial Psalm, sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, for Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly, and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything, and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble, but take courage. 
I have conquered the world. The gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning, Father. In the last, let's let's guesstimate. Let's just say uh, 30, 40, 50 years within our lifetime. Uh, we have uh, seen a rise in the ecumenical movement promoting ecumenism, uh, looking at different denominations, at different even religious practices, and saying we have so much in common, we're part of the brotherhood of, of humanity, you know, we need to work together. I've even heard people going as far as saying that there are more ways than just Christianity, specifically Catholicism, to attain the beatific vision, heaven. Has that always been the case, is my question for us to reflect upon today. For if we revisit Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, verses 1 through 8, St. Paul encounters those who have been baptized with the baptism of John, what does he do? Does he therefore say, well, that's fine. There's more than one way to the beatific vision. The baptism of John is valid. Or does he instruct them, baptize them with the baptism of Jesus Christ, and then lay hands upon them so that they could receive the Holy Spirit. If Paul did the latter and not the former, then why do we emphasize the former and not the latter? May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, partner deacons, and seminarians. We pray for the Lord. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick, especially those who or undergoing any forms of test or treatment today. We pray for Lord. We pray that the infant of Prague will continue to watch over and guide the finances of our parishes. May we always have enough for what we need. We pray for Lord. Offering all our prayers to the Father. Let us conclude asking Mary, the mother of God's intercession during this month in her honor as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. the wine we offer you, through the vine and work of human hands that would become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome a pass of joy, every line, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Zion in the highest, blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. O Zion in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by them down the spirit upon them, like to be called, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion. He took bread out of giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, I drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. After Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from the grace and grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take the great sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the great sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the great sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Honor the Lamb, I pray to the Jews and the Lamb of God. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have immune with heavenly mysteries to pass the former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you, Thank you God. God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell 
Satan, and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, your God, and your man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be our holy and happy conception. Blessed be our glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most holy spouse. Blessed be God in the name of his innocence. 